One of the many mistakes I've made over the years is by projecting myself upon central bankers from saying, oh, they must, they should, yeah. surely, which from an analytical perspective was a mistake. Uh, no, you've been very good. I must say, as a reader of your stuff, you've been very good at doing what we at Grants do rather too much, was to, uh, uh, to remind the central bankers that they are miserable central planners, Monke, and that if you would just stop doing what they're doing, we'd all be better. So that's, that's our line. And uh, you have a much more, so we say, a much more nuanced approach to central banking, which I, I guess is good for some people, James, well, like your clients. I know, well, okay. you, well you, you never know. But, yeah. but Jim, the serious point here is, and it, it applies in spades to the Fed right now, people saying they must, they can't, they will, they should. It's like, hold on a second. Let's just step back and think, and it's hard to do. Step back and imagine what you would do if you were in that chair, in j Powell's chair, thinking about the Federal Reserve Act and their mandate and institutional imperatives at what we might describe as a politically charged time. It's really tricky. So your baseline is, well, frankly, they're all trying to do something that nobody's ever done before, which is incredible. The Fed is trying to unwind their balance sheet in a slow, gradual, measured way. Actually, unwind is not quite correct. They're trying to wind down slowly. Right. But, but so, James, what you, would we do if we were them? When you were um, uh, young and uh, frolicsome. Oh, back in the uh, day. Okay. Back in the day. No, let, me, let me ask this question, a serious question. Right. Perhaps you were uh, present uh, when uh, one of the age-old pranks uh, was demonstrated uh, for a fraternity brother. Maybe you're just uh, some pals of yours, so you're in the dining room. I think you had some experience in catering. <laughs> Diners it's have true. left the dining room, yeah. and it's time to clear away the silverware and, right. the, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. the china. And uh, somebody says, I can, I can do this, I can, I can clear right. this without disturbing the, uh, the glassware, the crystal. I can, I can remove this tablecloth. Yeah. And uh, so here's what you do. Uh, so this, this person who says this actually is bluffing because he mm. actually has never done this before. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, making the rookie error, he very carefully begins to pull. Yes. And the crystal, before you know it, is yes. clattering on the floor yes. and, it's, yes. and somebody's, yeah, somebody's in trouble. The way to do it, of course, is to yank, yep. right? So the central bankers are pulling so grass, saying, don't notice, We're not, it's going to be fine. Is the, is the analogy valid? Should they be yanking and let markets adjust suddenly, or are they correct in pretending at least uh, to affect this change ever so gradually, that so gradually we won't notice it? From a self-interested perspective, I'd say bring it on. That would be an interesting- It's good for business. It'd be, indeed. Yeah. But realistically- As a citizen of the world, no. Well, perhaps, but imagining one is them and their incentives. And let, let's think about the, the position and perspective of someone like Jay Powell. He's finding his way into the most, one of the most incredibly important jobs around, which is chairman of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. His focus is on not messing up not messing up. I don't want to be the fall guy. I don't want to be, at least not yet, in a Trump tweet. How do I solve for that? 